The House Financial Services Subcommittee held a hearing to examine what's going on behind closed doors at the government agency, specifically looking at a program designed to help low-income people get housing. Joining us now, Congressman Randy Neugebauer, chairman of the committee. Congressman, welcome back to the show. What did you learn today in this hearing about the ability of HUD to manage taxpayer dollars? Well, Jerry, first of all, thanks for having me on the program. Well, what we learned is uh, that they're not necessarily doing a very good job. Uh, so one of the purposes of the hearing today was kind of sort out what's happening, uh, try to put a stop to some of this fraud and abuse, and certainly send a message to, to HUD and the rest of the government agencies that they need to do a better job of accountability of the funds that uh, they're spending on behalf of the taxpayers. I want to show folks exactly what this home program did. Uh, they gave affordable low-income housing to people who needed it, direct renter assistance, and about $2 billion a year to states and local governments. Now, where did the fraud come in? How, how was the government and the taxpayer being ripped off? Well, a lot of different ways. And one, for example, a project that we saw that was supposed to have 108 units built, but only about 60 of the units were built. Uh, we went and looked for uh, another project where there was uh, over a, a million dollars were spent. We went to the, the address that was uh, in the, the records, and it, it was a vacant lot. And so one of the things that we're concerned about is that a lot of this wow. money is unaccounted for, and that's unacceptable. That is unacceptable. So this money just tears or it's frittered away and uh, certainly what we thought we were getting for the buck, uh, we're not, right? That's right. And there are two people lose when that. I mean, the, the intended recipients when that money is diverted or, or, or taken or defrauded, but also the American taxpayers. And so it's, it's a lose-lose situation. Right. Well, I want folks to hear. Here's somebody who was involved in the fraud. Here's what he had to say today's testimony. Listen to this. I can say with a certainty that is imputed to a person such as myself who has defrauded the home program that I'm willing to bet that such fraud continues at the hands of others who held the position I once held. Amazing. So here's somebody who, uh, you know, says, hey, I was a fraudster. I ripped off the American people. And you know what? A lot of other people did, too. Where is the accountability in this? Well, that's the question we ask. And when we looked at their computer system, for example, that they use to track a lot of their projects, the people that are actually supposed to be monitoring are, are actually are being monitored or the people that are making input into their computer system. So that was one area. Uh, there's no physical inspection. What we found is that HUD really sends the checks, sends the money, uh, but making very few site visits. You know, and I was, I'm a former home builder. You know, when I uh, was building houses and I asked the bank for a draw, uh, you know, they went out to inspect to make sure that I had actually completed the work that I said that we were doing. These are just common sense things that we think that HUD should be doing. What's interesting about this, a lot of people are going to think these are the new programs that were to help people who got hurt in the mortgage meltdown. Not so. This is a program that has been around for years and years and years and years. This fraud has gone on for years and years and years. What are you going to do, Congressman, to stop it? Well, you know, one of the things we're going to do is we're going to encourage the administration to, you know, have better accountability, better internal control, better audit principles. I mean, some of this is just common sense. It's the example I just used a while ago about making side inspections. Uh, one of the things we found out is that when HUD comes and actually does an inspection, the people get to pick records that they, they want to talk about. You know, when you make a surprise visit, you need to be able to randomly select those records. Uh, having a computer system that tracks the disbursements and the progress of these projects. In other words, if you're sending out money, and you don't know how many units you're getting, uh, then in many cases you don't know that the, the intended purpose of that program is actually being carried out. Right. And again, that robs the recipients. But Congressman, are you going to have the HUD folks in? The last I heard, uh, Sean Donovan and others were saying, this is no story, no story here, move along, we have no problems with this program. Yeah, well, I think any time the American taxpayers' money is not being spent wisely and there's not accountability, then I, I think it's a serious matter. I mean, like in real estate, it's location, location, location. I think when you go to spending the American taxpayers' money, it's accountability, accountability, well, accountability. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with that. Well, if you do expand this and you bring in Donovan, let us know. We want to watch. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Congressman.